warehouse management system, or WMS as it's commonly known, is pretty much just what it says it is. It gives the ability to manage a warehouse and it becomes the primary data point for any operation. So when talking about a WMS, it performs various functions. It maintains inventory levels, it processes orders, it processes replenishment, uh, etc. So WMS, again, is self-explanatory, but it's not a one-size-fits-all. Uh, depending on the size of your organization, you could put in a multi-million dollar WMS, or if you're a smaller startup or a mom and pop company, uh, a lower end WMS could suffice uh, for your needs. A lot of them are scalable, so you can start uh, with a smaller one and graduate to a larger one. Uh, and the way it relates to what we do is uh, we get all of our data from a WMS in order to do our job. And we use that information to process our functionality on the floor level. Uh, and when we talk about interfacing to a WMS, it really comes down to three primary functions. There is what data is required for us to do our job, processing of orders, labeling of products, sorting of partners. Uh, it comes to what protocol is used. Uh, certain WMSs are, are pigeonholed into preset, whether it be TCP IP sockets, whether it be ODBC, whether it be shared table. And when do we get that data? A lot of the systems we do are dynamic and you have product moving. So we talk about latency, we talk about lookup times, and getting that data uh, in an appropriate time frame is just as important, or if not more important, than the data we get. Because obviously, if we get the data too late, we can't do anything with it, which causes nothing but problems in the warehouse.